very warm welcome uh, to one and all to this Facebook live session on the topic add-on certificate diploma programs of IGNO for the better job prospects. Myself, Dr. Prasita Unnikrishnan, Assistant Director, IGNO Regional Center Cochin, warmly welcome each one of you to this Facebook live session. I have tried to make this session as brief as possible and uh, uh, any queries pertaining to the session is most welcome. Uh, so today would, we would be talking about the add-on and certificate diploma programs uh, on offer at IGNO. As you all know, the July 2022 admissions have now started and uh, the last date for admissions for the July session is 31st of July 2022. And this session is being uh, organized as a part of a promotional initiative uh, to uh, spread an awareness about the certificate and diploma programs of IGNO, which can enhance uh, uh, the career prospects of learners. So first and foremost, uh, let me talk something about Indira Gandhi National Open University. Uh, IGNO is a national open university which was established by a central act of parliament in the year 1985 and uh, it's all it's one of the uh, first open central universities in india and uh, igno has been recently accredited with nac a plus plus and it is the only uh, open university in the country uh, to have been accredited with the nac by a plus plus grade so that is a big achievement of igno i must say so what are basically the objectives of IGNO? Uh, the basic objectives of IGNO are to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorstep of learners, uh, to provide access to high quality of uh, education to all those who seek it irrespective of age, religion and gender. In fact, uh, uh, IGNO is called a people's universities because we believe in taking higher education to the doorstep of the learners. And we also try to provide high quality education to all learners, irrespective of their age, religion, region, and gender. Also, our programs are based on need-based academic, need-based uh, academic programs by giving professional and vocational orientation to the courses. That is basically a, a learner who wants to join to any of the IGNOS programs. The programs are designed in such a uh, manner that the student can study on his own and write the examinations and try and complete his program successfully. And it's also uh, the objective of IGNO is also to promote and develop distance education in India. So what are the prominent features of IGNO? The prominent features of IGNO, we have a national jurisdiction with international presence. We also have some uh, study centers abroad. We have our, our regional centers all over India, uh, right from Kashmir, uh, Kashmir to Kerala and from Gujarat to uh, Northeast. And our uh, admissions uh, rules are also flexible. That is, uh, we do not have any age, uh, age barrier to our education, a minimum age is 18 years and maximum any age student can uh, try and uh, study with it. No, we have uh, learners who are also above 80 years of age who also study with IGNO and uh, try to complete their programs also. Uh, so th the programs are also offered in compliance to the uh, National Education Policy 2020, uh, which was launched by the government of India recently and uh, uh, IGNO's all programs are in compliance with the NEP policy of 2020. Our guidelines uh, have an individualized study. There is flexibility in terms of place, pace, and duration of the study. That is a learner who wishes to study with IGNO. I know there are many learners uh, who would be working, uh, maybe in India. Uh, maybe he would be working in Bangalore. But once he takes admission to uh, IGNO, uh, and in any of the regional centers, he has the flexibility to move along with his job and even change his regional center to any 
place in India where he wants and where there is a regional center established and the program is available. So that flexibility always IGNO offers. Uh, apart from that, the duration of study is also flexible. Uh, just like in a regular system, it, uh, you need to complete your programs like a master's level program. You need to complete in two years. But in uh, IGNO, you have the flexibility to complete your programs in a maximum duration of four years. That is a master's level program, you, uh, which is of minimum two years, can be completed in a maximum duration of four years. And we also use our latest information and communication technologies uh, to support our students, uh, maybe through online counseling sessions, uh, uh, through the web enabled counseling sessions. Uh, uh, there are Gyanwani, Gyan Darshan channels, uh, which also the students can access. Uh, and uh, we also have the e Gyan Kosh, uh, which is the largest open repository in, in uh, throughout the world, I must say. And it has a large uh, repository of all our study materials of IGNO, which are ac easily accessible to the students free of cost. And our programs are also cost effective. We also have a modular approach uh, to our programs. That is, uh, if supposing a student takes uh, admission to uh, uh, MSc CFT program, after completion of first year, he uh, gets a degree certificate of PGD CFT. And, uh, by the second year, he completes his MSc CFT. So after he completes, uh, completes his or her MSc CFT, he has two degrees in his hand. The first year also offers one degree. Apart from that, IGNO also has resource sharing, collaboration and networking with conventional universities, open universities and other institutions and organizations. And we also launch socially and academically relevant programs based on the need-based analysis and convergence of open and conventional education systems. In fact, IGNO has uh, many achievements. Uh, just I mentioned earlier as well that uh, IGNO is one of the first open university in the country to have been accredited with the highest A++ grade by NAC. And uh, in recent times, IGNO has also emerged as the largest open university in the world. And it is also uh, recognized as a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1993. Uh, IGNO was also awarded the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1999. And uh, IGNO also has a launched a series of 24 hour uh, educational channels that is the Gyan Darshan, which is a completely educational channel and gives uh, counseling and various uh, student support services uh, to, uh, to, uh, to our learners. IGNO is also the nodal agency for these channels and regular transmissions are done from the studio, uh, studios of EMPC, that is Electronic Produ Media and Production Center of IGNO, which is situated at IGNO headquarters. Delhi. We also have our regular educational broadcast with a facility for live interaction. IGNO has been entrusted with the responsibility of national coordinator for the Swayam Prabha project of the four channels and the channels are broadcasting the recorded videos as well as live telecasting of IGNO programs on a 24 by 7 basis. Even UNESCO has declared IGNO as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in the, in the year 2010. One of the major achievements of IGNO is, as I said before, is it is one of the largest network of learning support system. And one of the main achievements of IGNO, uh, which one can say is the de declaration of the termed examination result within 45 days. So how IGNO supports? IGNO supports through various academic programs which are offered through the regional centers which are spread across the country. Uh, in Kerala, in fact, we have three regional centers that is the Cochin, Trivandrum and Vadagara. Out of which Cochin is one of the largest regional centers of South India. Well, the Cochin Regional Center was established in the year 1988 and it caters to six districts and one unit territory of Lakshadweep. And the districts are Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kotayam, Idiki, Alapura, and the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. So, how does a student study with IGNO? Basically, uh, when a student takes admission to any of the programs of IGNO, he is provided with a 
a self a study materials our study materials are called the self learning materials because we believe that the student uh, the teacher is embedded in the textbook itself and by reading the textbook itself the students uh, can understand the program and the concepts in a better manner apart from that counseling sessions uh, which are, uh, are also provided and these are mostly online counseling sessions uh, which are being provided presently due to the covid scenario and if the uh, program has a project component then uh, that also the student has to uh, complete in order to complete his program successfully in igno we have a multi tier system of evaluation uh, wherein there are self check exercises at the end of uh, each textbook of igno uh, our uh, study materials uh, have self assessment exercises once a student does those exercises he gets an idea about the unit which he has studied apart from that assignments uh, constitute around 30% of weightage of marks in the final evaluation and then we have the term and examinations which have almost 70% weightage apart from that if the uh, if the program has a field work component or a practical component or internship then that component also uh, is being assessed uh, as per the program requirements as i said before uh, the july 2022 admissions are presently open and admissions are open uh, admissions are, are being offered in two cycles that is the july cycle and the january cycle the july 2022 cycle admission last date is 31st of july 2022 and how you can apply to this uh, uh, admissions of for igno programs i will just explain in my uh, next slides You can visit our IGNO website www.igno.ac.in and you can go to register online and click on fresh admissions. Apart from that, you can also visit our admission portal directly by logging on to https ignoadmission.summerth.edu.in. So these are the two ways in which a student who is aspiring to join any of the IGNO programs, he or she need to apply it online only. So what are the programs uh, which are on offer at IGNO? As I said before, we would be covering mostly the certificate and diploma programs which are on offer in IGNO. However, just to give an overview to our learners, uh, it is uh, informed that we have various certificate, PG certificate, diploma, PG diploma, degree and postgraduate degrees uh, which are on offer. If a student uh, who wants to refer any of the other programs of IGNO which are on offer, he can refer to our common prospectus July 2022 which is available at http www.igno.ac.in. The program information including the syllabus, uh, the fees, uh, the fee structure and uh, all the details about the components of the program also you can get access through the common prospectus. Just log in to our ICNO website and give common prospectus July 2022 in the search option on the right hand corner of the ICNO website and you can access this common prospectus July 2022. Uh, so on the left hand side if you see we have uh, prepared an information brochure of rc kuchin and this information brochure is also available on our rc kuchin website that is https rckuchin.igno.ac.in just i would like to mention uh, students who are aspiring and who want to know more about the programs of igno can refer to our information brochure which is also given on the rc kuchin website just in Google, if you give RC Kuchin also, you can access our RC Kuchin website. So some of the prominent programs uh, which are available at RC Kuchin, I have just highlighted a few of the programs uh, which uh, students usually opt for at our uh, at RC Kuchin. That is the BA program, MCOM program is of are very high enrollment programs of IGNO. Apart from that, students also show an interest towards our MBA program, MSW program, and MEPC program of IGNO. Apart from that, the certificate program in functional English, certificate program in food and nutrition are some of the other prominent programs. 
uh, in which students are interested in joining. And just to give an overview about the programs which are on offer at IGNO at master's level program, uh, these are the programs which are presently uh, being offered at uh, Regional Center Cochin. So how you can apply to, uh, to our IGNO programs? Uh, this is our uh, screenshot of the IGNO website. Once you go to register online, please click on fresh admissions. It is the second uh, link that is, uh, it is a third link that is a register online and click on fresh admissions. Once you click on fresh admissions, uh, the so admission portal opens uh, in which it is given uh, ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. Now, once you enter this portal, uh, you need to uh, you, uh, you you can also get all the program information in the uh, IGNO Summer portal as well. You can go to program information and get a detailed idea about the programs which are on offer and uh, including the fee structure and the components of the program. This can be accessed through our program information. So as I mentioned before, every program of IGNO has a minimum duration and maximum duration. Like for a certificate program of IGNO, if a student joins, the minimum duration is six months and the maximum duration is two years. That is the student has the flexibility to complete his or her program in a maximum duration of two years. Similarly, for a diploma program, the student uh, uh, can complete it in minimum one year and maximum two years. Similarly, for a bachelor's degree program, it is minimum three years and maximum six years. Similarly, the master's level degree programs, it is minimum two years and maximum four years. Now, I would like to come to some of the diploma programs which are on offer at IGNO. And uh, I would just uh, highlight, this is a screenshot of the common prospectors, which are, I'm just showing all of you on the screen. There are various diploma programs on offer at IGNO and presently as per the common prospectors, July 2022, there are around 25 programs, diploma programs on offer. I'll just highlight it. One is Diploma in Early Childhood Care and Education, that is DECE, Diploma in Nutrition and Health Education, DNHE. Diploma in Panchayat Level Administration and Development, DPLAD. Diploma in Event Management, DEVMT. Diploma in Tourism Studies, DTS. Diploma in Creative Writing in English, that is DCE. Uh, you also have Diploma in Urdu Language. Those who have an interest in understanding Urdu, they can opt for this program, DUL. Uh, you also have Diploma in Value Added Products from Fruits and Vegetables, that is DVAPFV. Uh, you have Diploma in Dairy Technology, that is DDT. Diploma in Meat Technology, DMT. Diploma in Watershed Management, Diploma in Horticulture. Diploma in Women Empowerment and Development. Diploma in HIV and Family Education. Diploma in Pro uh, Business Process Outsourcing. In finance and accounting, diploma in uh, modern office practice. This is one of the recently launched programs. Diploma in paralegal practice. This is also one legal, uh, one recently launched program. Diploma in aquaculture. Diploma in retailing and diploma in teaching German as a foreign language. So these were the 25 diploma programs which are on offer and these uh, certificate and diploma, supposing if you are already pursuing your graduation in any of the regular institution or a regular institution of uh, any <coughs> regular university, you can always opt for a certificate and a diploma program as an add-on to your existing qualification as this will en help you enhance your job prospects uh, because uh, after you complete your graduation or a master's level program uh, you can always have an added advantage of over other students when you have an additional certificate or a diploma program from igno so that will give you an added benefit uh, when you apply for any job uh, or when you go for an interview in the job market in and also knowledge is always uh, enriching and this will definitely add to your knowledge base 
if you are opting for a certificate or a diploma program of IGNO. Now I come to the certificate programs which are on offer at IGNO and the screenshot which you are seeing is about the certificate programs of IGNO. There are 70 programs of certificate programs on offer presently in IGNO and the programs are certificate in library and information science, <coughs> certificate in disaster <coughs> management, sorry, certificate in environmental studies, Certificate Program on Life and Thought of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Certificate in Peace Studies and Conflict Management. Certificate in Food and Nutrition. Certificate in Nutrition and Child Care. Certificate in Rural Development. Certificate in Guidance. Certificate in Information Technology. Certificate in Mobile Application Development. Certificate in Teaching of English as a Second Language. Certificate in Functional English, Basic Level. That is a CFE program. Uh, basically, it is for those students who, have a, uh, who want to have a basic understanding about the English language. For those students, certificate in functional English is very much helpful. Then you have the certificate in Urdu language, that is uh, CUL, certificate in human rights, certificate in consumer protection, certificate in corporation, cooperative law and business laws, certificate in anti-human trafficking, Certificate in International Humanitarian Law, Certificate Program in NGO Management, Certificate in Business Skills, Certificate in Communication and IT Skills. Uh, then you also have the Certificate in Business Skills Program, the Certificate in Communication and IT Skills. You also have an Advanced Certificate in Information Security, Certificate in Fashion Design, Certificate in Tourism Studies, Certificate program in laboratory techniques, certificate program in teaching of primary school mathematics, certificate in HIV and family education, certificate in social work and criminal justice system, certificate in tribal studies, certificate in sericulture, certificate in organic farming, certificate in water harvesting and management. You also have a certificate programs in poultry farming, certificate in beekeeping, certificate in Arabic language, certificate in French language, certificate in Russian language, certificate in Japanese language, certificate in Korean language and culture, certificate in Spanish language and culture, certificate in German language, certificate in Persian language. So these are some of the language based certificate programs for those students who have an interest in understanding and knowing these languages, they can opt for these programs. Then you also have the certificate in first aid, certificate program in yoga, certificate in healthcare waste management, certificate in newborn and infant nursing, certificate in maternal and child health nursing, certificate in home based healthcare, Certificate in General Duty Assistance, Certificate in Geriatric uh, Care Assistance, Certificate in uh, Plebotomy Assistance, Certificate in Home Health Assistance, Certificate in Community Health, Certificate in Adolescent Health and Counseling, Certificate in Visual Arts Painting, Certificate in Visual Arts Applied Art, Certificate in Performing Arts Theatre Arts, Certificate in Performing Arts Hindustani Music, Certificate in Performing Arts Karnatak Music, Certificate in Performing Arts Bharatnatyam, Certificate in Energy Technology and Management, Certificate of Competency in Power Distribution, Certificate in Solid Waste Treatment Techniques, Certificate in Condition Monitoring, Certificate Program in Value Education, Certificate in Solid Waste Management, Certificate in Community Radio, and Certificate in Gender, Agriculture and Sustainable Development, and then you have the communicative Sanskrit program. So these are some of the uh, certificate programs which are on offer at IGNO. So as a aspiring uh, student or even for a layman who wants to have a basic knowledge or, who, or understanding about any of the subjects, they can opt for any of the certificate and diploma programs of IGNO. Especially my request is to the Young uh, re request is to those who are already pursuing any undergraduate program or a PG program in any of the regular institutions, they can definitely opt for the certificate or diploma programs of IGNO as this will definitely enhance your job prospects and it will also add to your already existing knowledge base and understanding of the subject you want to. 
So just I would like to highlight few of the programs uh, which are which may be of the interest because uh, I don't have that much time to uh, speak on each and every certificate program. However, these are some of the programs which are prominent at regional center coaching and uh, to which students do take admissions. One is certificate in disaster management, especially after the Kerala floods. Uh, this uh, importance of this program has gained uh, 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 much and students are now opting for certificate in disaster management. Uh, this prepares uh, the students for uh, students and even a layman for the uh, disaster preparedness, mitigation, prevention, relief, reconstruction and rehabilitation. The eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. Similarly, you have certificate in environmental studies and this program is of use to the general public at all levels of formal and non-formal education, professionals, ecologists, hydrologists, foresters, uh, landscape architects and others. And again, the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. And uh, you can complete this program in a maximum two years. Then you have the Certificate in Food and Nutrition program. The program basically aims to acquaint the learners with the role of food in ensuring healthy living for the individual, family and community and thus make the learners responsible and aware citizens of tomorrow. In fact, a CFN program is an offer in Malayalam language as well and uh, many of our Kudumbashri workers and those who are working in grassroots level in the nutrition, in the health sector, they are very much interested in this program and uh, definitely uh, as even for a layman or even for a student uh, studying dietics and food service management also, this program would be very, very helpful and this program is available in Malayalam language. And uh, this is one of the very prominent programs uh, uh, at Regional Center Cochin. Then you have the Certificate in Nutrition and Child Care. And the program um, basically helps in ha having the knowledge, understanding and skills both with regard to nutrition and child development. It enables the learners to take up jobs as functionaries with government and NGOs working for women and children. The eligibility... <coughs> Criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is both English and Hindi. Then you have the Certificate in Rural Development Program and the program provides a comprehensive knowledge of socio-economic factors affecting the transformation of rural society. It is primarily meant for those learners who want to have a comprehensive orientation in rural development within a short span of time. So again, this program uh, can be done as an add-on program by the aspiring students who have an interest in rural development. Certificate in Human Rights and the program has been specifically designed to sensitize and educate professionals and workers who as a part of their routine duty interact with masses daily, especially for the police officials, uh, even for the teachers or any public official who are working in the government sector, they can opt for this program or even in the private sector who have to interact with the masses on a daily basis. For them, this program will be very, very helpful. Then you have the diploma in HIV and fi family education. Basically, for those who, uh, who want to enhance their knowledge and skills of functionaries involved in HIV, AIDS and related issues, for them, this program would be of interest. Similarly, we also have a certificate in HIV and family education, uh, which provides an integrated understanding to the learners about the issues involved in HIV AIDS and behavior modification. So for this also, the basic eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. You also have a certificate in tribal studies, uh, which aims to support individuals working in social and welfare service sector targeted for the tribals, especially for those uh, so MSW students or those who are working in the social sector or in, in rural areas, in the tribal areas. For them, this program would be very useful. So these are uh, some of the glimpses I, uh, which I have provided about the certificate and diploma and programs of IGNO. 
So as on date, there are 70 diploma programs on offer and 25, 70, uh, 25 diploma programs on offer and 70 certificate programs on offer at IGNO. And the student has the benefit of applying for any of the program, which can be uh, done as an add-on qualification to enhance his job prospects as well as to enrich his existing knowledge base. So I'm sure after viewing this Facebook live session, uh, the learners would be interested in joining to any of the uh, certificate or diploma programs of IGNO and not even certificate and diploma, any of the programs, including the bachelor's and master's level programs of IGNO so that you can enhance your knowledge base and for a better job prospects. So this is IGNO Regional Center Cochin Kalur. Uh, our office is situated at Kalur and uh, uh, the, we, we have a Facebook page. I would request our viewers to subscribe uh, to like our Facebook page and follow our Facebook page. We also have a Twitter account and the Facebook live sessions are usually uploaded on the YouTube channel of RC Cochin. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel of RC Cochin, wherein you will get the latest updates about the admissions and promotional initiatives of RC Cochin. And you can, for any queries pertaining to this session, if you are having, you can please feel free to write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. You can also uh, check our IGNO website, igno, www.igno.ac.in and go through our common prospectus to have a detailed view about our programs. You can also go through the regional center coaching brochure, which is available at rccochin.igno.ac.in. And as I said before, the last date of admissions to all IGNO programs for the July 2022 session is 31st of July 2022. I am sure prospective learners can apply to the programs of his or her choice. And you can apply to this link, https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. So once again, uh, I would just like to highlight the link for the online admissions and with a firm belief in yourself, I am sure all the prospective learners who are listening to this session would uh, try and join any of the IGNO programs, which can be an add-on qualification for enhancing their job prospects. For uh, any queries, please feel free to contact us at rccochin at the rate ignu.ac.in. And once again, uh, I'm thankful to all of you for watching this Facebook live session and thank you once again. Thank you.